Greetings, it's your host Galadon here with an emergency episode of Clash of Clans Attacks. Just warning you, it's not a usual Clash of Clans Attacks video, so we'll go ahead and kill the dramatic music at this point. Okay, that's better. Now, this episode we're going to spend most of our time talking about some artificial intelligence issues and some bugs that exist in Clash of Clans right now. But first, just a quick review of our last clan war. We did manage to beat New Zealand 71-38. to 38. It was a pretty uh, lopsided win for us, but uh, a good win nonetheless. I think we're improving. We're winning a lot more of our attacks, and hopefully we'll be prepared for our next opponent, which is Maximus, starting in about 24 hours. But before we move on, I'd like to give a quick acknowledgement to those Lost Phoenix players that earned four stars during the last war against New Zealand. And that would be J Lo, Achurda, Warlord, Taka Nohana, C Dubs 77, Daggy 07, Doc Bone, and your host Galadon. But dominating all attackers this last war was ANF 87, or better known as Boop, with six stars. Yes, he achieved two three star victories. Way to go, Boop. We will be sure to feature one of those three-star victories in next episode. That will be episode 39, which will be coming out shortly. But for today, I'd like to talk about some issues with uh, Supercell's artificial intelligence programming, uh, one of which shows up pretty early in this attack here. I actually just attacked this base for fun because of the thick walls, and uh, the wall breaker behavior is what I wanted to talk about here. Now, when the next set of wall breakers comes out, we're going to freeze the frame, and you'll see right there, they're targeting that junction at the very end of that long wall, which, okay, that makes sense. But now, as we freeze it again, look where they've targeted on the right here. I just can't make any rhyme or reason out of why they've targeted that section of the wall as opposed to the end, or any other section for that matter. Uh, I'm open to uh, input from viewers who have ideas on this one. I'm also hoping that Supercell might notice this and uh, make an AI change sometime in the near future because it is pretty frustrating and it has happened in a lot of different ways to a lot of different players. So we'll start the attack back up again here and you'll notice that most of the wall breakers don't even make it there. Those expos are just in range. Here comes the queen. Uh, they will eventually all get blown up and the queen is now outside taking out units. And I thought I'd play the rest of the attack here because a pretty funny phenomenon happens right here. The queen jumps over the wall, but all my troops can't, so they end up in this big long chase after the queen. And they're gradually trying to catch up to her there. They're all after her. She doesn't know they're behind her, but they're all chasing her. She's running away. Eventually they catch up. Just reminds me of some song I've heard before. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. But anyway, eventually they do manage to take the queen out, and then I drop a whole bunch of uh, barbarians up here to take out the barbarian king. We can see that hog riders can jump as many walls as they want. Big old jumps there into the middle. And uh, I'm gradually going to work my way down around the right here to uh, save this attack. Uh, pretty unorthodox, obviously uh, did not go as I had planned. But eventually, once my queen comes out, I will manage to get 50% out of this attack. But not before panicking a little bit, I eventually had to use my king to take out his king, and now I've got basically four units left, the king, the queen, and two golems, and it's just going to be a matter of good spell timing and placement here. That rage spell, I have to admit, was just about perfect. Look at how she stands right on the rightmost edge of it, and she's going to use it for a long time here as she works her way into that enclosure, taking out buildings left and right all the time under rage. The freeze spell, not really that much of a factor there. Those uh, multi-targeting infernos can't do a great deal of damage to the golem or the queen, but they do wipe out all of her little archers when she goes invisible. But one more rage spell, and she's going to manage to get 50% with the uh, king down there, just destroying everything in his path as well. And uh, we save what could have been disaster. Okay, next we're going to take a look at a very unusual defense replay from Spencer23, the overlord and founder of the Lost Phoenix family. And we're going to go ahead and forward this attack up until the point where we see something really what appears to be very unusual happen with the attacking Barbarian King. So far, a pretty much standard golem, wizard, and witch attack. He's dropped all of his golems, and they're clearing. And eventually, he's going to drop the king in there. Here he comes. Now, as we slow it down here, the king's going to move in, take out this mortar. Now, take out this wizard tower. Now, where do you think the king's going to go next? He's being attacked by that multi-targeting inferno behind him. That is the closest structure that is not 
guarded by a wall, you would think. Now, if you look more closely as the king turns around, you'll see that behind that bottom inferno, the wall has already been broken out, and there's an opening there, and he's going to go right through it, and he's going to stand there for a split second, turn, and take out the clan castle. So this isn't something that we would actually call a bug, but it is definitely a situation where Supercell could improve the artificial intelligence. Uh, the king obviously saw the clan castle as being the closest non-enclosed structure, whereas that Inferno Tower would have been a much more logical choice for him to attack next. But in any case, it leads to a frustrating two-star loss for our boss, and uh, you don't want to see him unhappy. It's kind of like uh, Gordon Ramsay when he starts kicking people out of the kitchen. Get out, get out, out, get out. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and move ahead here to a true bug in the game right now as it exists, and we can see it on two different video replays. The first one here is a defense by Boop, or ANF-87, on a similar Southern Teaser-style base. Look at the Queen. Yep, she is completely paralyzed. The Paralyzed Queen. I know this is something that other people have run into in the past, but apparently Supercell hasn't fixed it yet. You can see as the attack progresses, as the troops get closer, eventually the opposing Barbarian King gets really close to her. Obviously it would have been close enough to activate her, but she does never move a muscle the entire attack, and uh, definitely does not help the defending cause here. And now here's another example of it. This one, a defense from Metador when he was being attacked by McLincoln from Mega. And a similar style base, so maybe that a wall layout could have something to do with it, but she is either paralyzed or stuck, uh, bugged out in some way, shape, or form, and she's not going to move for this entire attack. And again, we will speed this up as this rather unorthodox approach to a, a southern teaser attack comes in. And you'll see once again, she just stands there, does never get attacked, but also never moves a muscle. So hopefully this is something that Supercell could take a look at and uh, rectify in the near future. But I don't want to leave without saying a couple of positive things to Supercell. That would be uh, one, thank you so much for Clan Wars. That has really re-sparked the interest for a lot of us in the game. Also, it appears that Supercell changed the algorithm for spinning for an opposing village at higher levels. We do see a lot of really low cup offers. Those two cup offers come in constantly, but there is no more of this spinning for uh, minutes at a time without seeing a single offer, at least not for me. And right now I think I'm around uh, 3,750 trophies, which was definitely the danger zone before this last update. So just wanted to say thank you, Supercell, for making that change. And on a final note, before we conclude, I just want to say that we are actively recruiting new members to the Lost Phoenix family, uh, starting with uh, LP6 Minotaur and LP6 Pegasus. You just need level 3 archers and 800 trophies to get in. LP5 Titan and LP5 Griffin, you need level 4 archers and 1,000 trophies. It moves up from there. If you've got more, please do check out Lost Phoenix 4, 3, 2, and 1. And of course, the original Lost Phoenix. Thank you as always for watching. Please tune in again in the next couple of days for episode 39, and we will have updates on Clan Wars and some new attacks.